In this episode, I fail at glue pulling this dent, Xan wrecks a perfectly good paint job. We finally fix the crash damage, and then we eat cake. You really put a dent in that cake. <laughs> It's said that an indicator of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. I came into this cold glue pulling idea full of optimism and fervor. It looks so promising on the YouTube videos. And so when I first wasn't able to get it to work, I did what any proud black thumb would do. I kept trying. Surely with practice, I could figure out how much glue would work. Now, as you guys can probably tell, I really have no idea what I'm doing. How long the cure time should be, what piece would work the best. But with every repetition, I found no more clarity than I had before. Rather, each failed pull was another check cashed in the bank of my frustrations. So the uh, wheel well itself is actually quite well sealed up, except for there. You guys see that little in there, that little hole? Let's see what we can do. I tried an alternative method. It did nothing. I consulted a kind Englishman from the internets. Nothing. I channeled the heat of my own rage, but it was to no end. I somehow took a panel that already looked like Sylvester Stallone's jawline and made it even uglier. As I slipped further into mania, I was left with one choice. Give up. Okay, so uh, that was a huge, humongous fail. I got pretty much zero dents out of the car. Basically the glue didn't stick most of the time. So we were kind of screwed. So yeah, I'm just gonna give up on that. And then we're gonna try something else eventually, later. Uh, it's too cold right now, my hands, I can't feel my hands. I'm gonna go inside. Wait, wait, did I say give up? Oh no, no, no. I meant grab your best bud, grab some power tools, and get ready to cause some irreparable damage. Make some spark fly. Glue pulling may have let us down, but now it was time for the big guns, stud pulling. Forgot to check if this is aluminum or steel, I actually, I actually don't remember. We probably should have checked that before, before cutting it away, but I got a magnet. Um, it's a little tiny, it's actually a micro USB port. Anyways, boom, oh, God. steel, beautiful. I knew it was steel, all right? Okay, I didn't know it was steel, I didn't know it was steel, but. <laughs> Alright, so we have this thing down to bare metal pretty much. You can kind of see like how humongous of a dent this is. And I suppose the idea is gonna be we'll try to find kind of the center of the dent. We'll put a couple spots in, uh, a couple studs I mean, and then let's just start pulling it out and see if we can get this thing to come. Albon, rip. Oh yeah, it's just bond. Actually it's more Han. Oh. Han okay. racing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Harbor Freight Dent Repair Stud Welding Kit. So basically, all this does is it actually welds in these steel studs. So you just slide them in here, you stick them on the panel, and it'll weld this stud onto the panel. So it'll stick out kind of like this. And then what you'll do is once you have this stud welded into the panel, you'll take the slide hammer, you'll connect it to the stud, and then you'll just you'll knock it out. Our goal here today is weld a bunch of these onto our big dent and just try to pull that dent out as much as we can. By the way, we should mention, this is our first time ever doing this. In fact, this is the first time we've ever done any bodywork before, other than like replacing panels, so. Yeah. Load the stud in, push it down until it grounds, and then that's it. Weld it on. Stud. The stud has put on the stud. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. has made some progress, huh? Yeah. Our best bet is to maybe start pulling it out from the middle, see how far we can get this whole thing out. If it's not doing it, then maybe move to the top of the dent, kind of closer to the edge, and see if we can like fix that edge and then basically bring that fixed edge further and further to the inside until this whole panel comes out. The way to pull these off is to like use a pair of side cutters. Some in the industry call them dikes, which I feel like it's really not a 
very 2020 friendly bird. Yeah, just like that. And then uh, basically you just grind that off and, uh, and you're good. If you pull it out and there's a hole, then you just spot weld, grind yeah, it down, so, smooth it out. Um, yeah, if you pull it out and it pulls out a hole into the actual panel, then yeah, you just use a MIG welder, MIG it, and then grind it down. Or actually, funny enough, somebody in the comments of the YouTube video that we watched to figure this out, he said just weld another stud in there. Oh yeah, I did see that. And then he's like, then just cut that one off. Yeah, and then just grind it down. And then just grind it down. I was like, people on the internet know what they're talking about, man. Believe me, I'm a guy on the internet. Mm. <laughs> Credibility. All right, we got the stud. Just kind of drop her in there. Give it a one Mississippi. Look at that. That is Beauty. absolutely menacing. So that area is now pulled up this area in comparison to this. So yeah, I think we just gotta keep hammering away at it and uh, you know we'll eventually get somewhere. Woo! That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's yeah. like straight spikes, like Mad it's like, Max. Exactly, I was gonna say Mad Max. Hold on, we'll just put some spikes here too. And be yeah. like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the weapon you know you get at the end of the game. Yeah. After beating the game, you know? That's right, after you beat the last boss. <laughs> and you're just like doing side quests. How hot do you think it is? <laughs> really? <laughs> Seriously? No, you didn't know you were gonna do you're it. You're just watching, dude. <laughs> it's messed up. Someone tries to lean up against your car, what happens then? Show us. Yeah, they're gonna lean in. Boom! Security <laughs> system right there, that's it. You know, they try to act like it's theirs, right? You know, just like real casual. Oh, and that's it. Straight Ooh. tetanus. Straight right in the kidneys too, right, huh? Right. <laughs> You're gonna walk out of Kroger and like, it's gonna be blood all over him. <laughs> it's like, all right, what's the kill count? It's like someone just fall on the ground, <laughs> just like. Bleeding out. <laughs> oh yeah, don't do don't, that. Don't do so that. that. This is a big no-no. That's the problem, right here? Mm -mm, that's Emergency it. room. Give up. <laughs> For another day. <laughs> they pay people to do this. Beautiful. This is this is literally like 200 mile paint. You know? Oh man. Where is this one from? Larry Pistol. <laughs> so we have. We've got a kind of like a, a ridge situation here in this shape, it seems. Yeah. Uh, this, man, this is the chest. Yeah, it's a real crease, huh? Oh, man. And then this right here, this is another crease. The bottom one. This one I feel like will be the easiest to come out. Yeah, Here's this, the this line is... For it. We can just pop this, and I think we should really get it. Yep, yep, this shouldn't be too bad. This right here, if we can get this lifted, yeah. then we're gonna let a lot of... Then we rework these, right? Yeah, exactly. You're right, this thing does look cool, man. It's like a freaking DeLorean. Yeah, man. <laughs> this is nice. I feel like it should just like squirt out. Mustard or something. <laughs> yeah, like this, what, why did I choose this color? It just makes me hungry. <laughs> Ooh, boy. So 
So we actually have a little bit of a tear in the metal at our biggest crease. So when we sanded it back um, at that crease by the door, it's a really sharp crease. You can see there's kind of a hole there. So the metal actually separated. So we're gonna have to weld this closed, but for now, I think what we'll do is basically start pulling this out. Because it's cut, it'll give us a little bit more movement room. Ooh, boy. So I get that. I guess one point of uh, contact is too few. So it really split it. Yeah, look it's at a, that. It's a big hole. Look, can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Nice. I guess it was split under there like pretty much the whole time. It was just the paint that was really holding it. Look at how far this has That's come. a lot of progress. Done for the night? Yep. And uh, continue tomorrow? This is some good work. Oh, also, we got oh, just, we got just one, one injury. He did that thing you're not supposed to do. <laughs> I, I expected more holes, though. So I got, that was pretty good. Yeah. We got a couple in. All right. Well, nice work. You really put a dent in that cake. <laughs> mm. The following day, I took to cleaning up the studs and leveling out some of the high spots. Ugh, it's cold. Ugh. Good thing I have my Albon hoodie from shop.albonfilms.com. Actually, this isn't available yet, but we got t-shirts. Anyways, I had this most of the way, I think. Um, it's pretty much mostly smooth. It's a little wavy, um, as it would be. It's a curved panel, so it's a little hard to get it in the original curve from the method that we did. The goal right now, I think, is gonna be grabbing the welder and trying to fill these holes without, you know, you know, putting more holes into it, which isn't as easy as it sounds because this metal is super, super thin. The sheet metal is so thin, you really have to like put these little dots in. It's not the best, of course, you know, it's not gonna be a good, strong, continuous piece of metal. The idea is just to patch the hole, right? It's not to make like a perfect piece. My main concern is also don't wanna start like a fire in here. So, you know, gotta be careful, but yeah, we're getting there. What I'll do is, um... Turns out, in fact, that I did start a fire. The inside of the fender must have caught a spark and just lit up. For some reason, I thought blowing on it was a good idea, and it got bigger, so I grabbed my water bottle and thankfully prevented an awkward phone call with my insurance company. Crisis averted. I think that's about it for the metal work today. We've gotten it pretty close. Uh, this area is still a little bumpy. I think it just needs to be grinded down more. There's still a lot of high spots from where the studs were. And then over here, the place that we filled in the gap with welds, uh, this definitely needs to be grinded down a little smoother. I need some more grinding discs, so I'll go get those tomorrow. Overall, I'd say it's almost there. It's 90% it's there. So in the next episode, uh, we'll start doing all the filler work, getting it prepped for paint, priming it, et cetera, et cetera. Then hopefully after that, getting it painted. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the hack job work that I've been doing, then do like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time.